ba -bum -bum. I'm making pics in the waveform So when I edit I know where to cut the video G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing a timed animation challenge. I am slightly terrified, not only because I'm doing a timed animation challenge, but also because the time and the topic are completely up to the Twitch chat. So I'm doing this live on Twitch at the moment and they are going to be voting on the time limit. The activity that the character I animate will be completing, engaging in, and the character I will be animating. And these range from Batman to Spongebob, as you can see. Okay, and in terror, I am passing on the, uh, the polls to the Twitch chat to vote on. And now I sit here and I pray for the strength of the gods that I may complete this task. I don't, uh, look, I don't do animation challenges very often and the reason is simply because they are actually really stressful. <laughs> like even like just putting these polls out there, my heart is racing because it's really scary because animating is a time consuming process. And it's not like a drawing challenge where, you know, oh, I have to draw something in one minute or five minutes. Animation, like a 20 minute animation challenge is really difficult, but the intensity and the stress lasts for 20 minutes, not like one or five minutes. It's like way more uncomfortable. And the results are, oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I will be animating Bob Ross. Okay. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Bob Ross is going to be twerking. <laughs> oh my. Oh boy. Please, please give me a reasonable amount of time to do this in, please. <sighs> Wow, they really want a detailed, appealing Bob Ross twerk. <laughs> in fact, the votes of the amount of time I have to animate have gone in descending order. So everyone wants a really well-crafted twerking Bob Ross. I am happy to make that happen because at least those 45 minutes are gonna be slightly less stressful, but still stressful. I need some image references. So uh, I wonder what Google comes up with when I search Bob Ross twerk. Um, well, that's... that's Bob Ross with Nicolas Cage's head having drawn dick butt, that's a uh, real mature internet. Wow, people like messing around with Bob Ross. <laughs> Let's just look up Bob Ross. Okay, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. As, as many of you may know, I'm, I've found a renaissance of enjoyment in Bob Ross's videos. I watch his old school The Joy of Painting series with my son when I put him to bed. He's an amazing artist. And I'm looking forward to completely uh, disrespecting his image today by <laughs> animating him twerking. Ah, uh, have I no integrity? No, no, I don't. All right, the timer won't start until I'm set up and ready to animate. I don't want to start. I'm still hesitating. I just need to start. I just need to start. I have 45 minutes to animate Bob Ross twerking. And I hit the start button and I should start because I was trying to not hesitate and then I realized after I hit it that I probably should have hesitated a bit more because I didn't want to start, but oh no, I forgot to save. Let's save this. Bob Ross is going to have his canvas in front of him. All right, Bob Ross's face is a bit like, he's got like these squishy little cheeks. He's got this amazing perm afro. Amazing. This thing is a work of art. Every now and then when I watch The Joy of Painting, I just stop and admire his face. There's a little chin that comes out here. Little ears that poke out from under the per- Look, this this afro needs to be way bigger. This ha he'll have his shoulder up because he's being all coy. <laughs> have his sleeve rolled up as usual. Here's where things get crazy. Goes a little butt poking out here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's smooshing it. That's not actually a word, but that's a word my son made up. I'm doing way too much attention to detail just for the sketch. You never see the bottom of his legs in the show, but I feel like he'd have like, you know, 70s flares a bit. All right, now he has his easel thing. Not his easel, what do you call it? What are you, a palette. He has his palette. Oh my God, that's where the palette originates because this is my palette. Oh, wow. It actually comes from an actual palette. I can't believe that my brain just realized that. I am so stupid. <laughs> All right, let's finalize our, our construction. I feel like the proportions are a bit off. We'll make Bob a bit bigger. On the canvas, I feel like there needs to be like a booty on the canvas. 
<laughs> oh boy, it's a happy little twerk. <laughs> All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna create two expressions of his face. So it looks like there's some frame by frame motion, even though it will mostly be tween. I'm gonna frame by frame his butt and possibly legs. Uh, and the rest is gonna have to be pretty much tween because we don't have very long. I've just, I've got to run into this. There is his lovely gleaming eyes. <laughs> oh, Bob, what am I doing to you? I don't know why I drew his teeth so creepy, but <laughs> I, I thought this is going to be weird, so I might as well roll with it. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, minty. It's like a super perm fro, so I've got to like keep all the little hair bits. All right, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my Bob. Okay, let's do the next part of his head. I'll put on the onion skin so you can see what my previous frame was and basically I just need to stretch the expression somewhat and change the angle of the head or something like slightly reposition it. I can hide my original construction sketch just so that the only lines I have in my reference in my onion skin are the original Bob Ross creepy face lines. How much time have I got? 28 minutes. Okay we're doing okay. All right and as his head is tipping up slightly in fact I'll push it a little further. The angle is changing so his hairline is gonna curve up this way a little more and his mouth, his teeth line, is gonna be more extreme as well. <laughs> oh this is already terrible and creepy. I love it. Because the head's tipping up, the top of the head is gonna come back and down. There we have the Bob Ross head movement. Let's just throw in some quick colors. This doesn't have to be pretty. Bam. Chuck in the brown. Let's grab a skin color. All right, now his beard's got a bit of gray. So for the gray bit, let's test this out. I feel like that does it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we have two Bob Ross head angles. Bring back our construction. All right, we have 22 minutes. We're doing all right. We've got good time. I think it's time to go straight to the booty because I think the rest of the body is going to animate around uh, that. So let's do our <laughs> keyframes. <laughs> Let's bend the legs down. I feel like that's not extreme enough. I feel like we need to Looney Tunes it up a bit. All right, let's 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 slam this booty down. These legs gotta be nice and punched up. This is terrible, I'm a terrible person. All right, so that's one frame. I'm just gonna convert this to a symbol. Okay, we have under 20 minutes. Wait, we had 45, didn't we? God, I'm burning up time now. We're gonna do another keyframe, and this time it's gonna be the extreme high keyframe. And this butt is uh, working hard. It looks like it's just squatting. <laughs> Which is a twerk look like? This is like in Counter-Strike when they like teabag. Oh no! I think the butt's supposed to like come up like this. Oh wow, this is gonna get bad quickly. All right, let's go for some extreme breakdowns. So this is the motion of the butt coming up. So let's add a bit of a smear. We're gonna have to supercharge this, guys. Actually, I'm just gonna go in here and hide my construction lines so they don't distract me. You can see I'm following my in-between lines here. I feel like the, this top frame needs, the butt needs to squash a bit. Okay, next frame down, the butt's gotta be dragging a bit. Okay, I feel like we got a good twerk motion there. <laughs> oh no! Every now and then I have these moments of realization as to what I am doing and then I regret many decisions. How am I going for time? I have 12 minutes. This is definitely the most uh, intricate bit that's time to just smash out some in-betweens. Oh man, this is where the timer starts to feel like it's going real fast. Oh, look at that! Look at that motion! Oh, that is... That is disturbing. <laughs> what color are Bob Ross's pants? I assume like a browny gray. There you go, there is pant colors. All right, shoes. Uh, I don't know, they're like loafery things. That'll do. <laughs> Adrenaline is flowing through my veins. This is really intense. Oh, there we go! Whoa! All right, let's add some doubles. Wow! Oh my God, that turned out way better than I expected. Okay, this is gonna be perfect, but I have seven minutes. Okay. Oh my God! Smash this out, we got this. The body, come on. Don't hesitate. His shirt has got like this lovely sky blue shirt. Something like that. This is gonna have an ease in and out. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Wait, we got this. All right, bring on your head, buddy. His head changes on that angle and we end up back where we started. Gotta add the ease ins and ease outs. Let's have the head transition halfway between these frames. There we go, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is majestic. We have four minutes. 
Oh, I'm so scared. I don't have time to faff around and break up the limb or anything. It's gonna have to do it all as one symbol. He's got his two inch brush. I have two minutes, I have two minutes, I have two minutes. And let's make his arm pink, anchor it to the top, wireframe and lock, put that under. Oh my God, two minutes. I need to get that canvas in there. Okay, we have his back shirt, we have his hand. Bam, 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 bam. The palette, add some blobs of color. Come on, titanium white, come on. All right, that'll do. Okay, let's do his animation first. Let's lock the start and end frames. Do these middle frames, turn off the onion skin. Oh, I have one minute. Look at this intensity. Oh, 44 seconds. Okay. Super quick canvas. Oh, this is so bad. It's just really rushing and butchering this. We may not have a painting on the canvas. With 10 seconds left, we definitely won't. And background! Oh! He's looking at me like he's teasing me. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what this looks like. I didn't even get time to like double check how it turned out because I had to just try and get the environment in there. All right, it's the moment of truth. Oh boy. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for the moment, the reveal? This is the reveal. I am so scared. I am so scared. I haven't even seen this. In 45 minutes, I created this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's beautiful! Oh my god! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am both incredibly proud and horrified. I am e extremely traumatized and feeling victorious. I've- this is a strange mix of emotions right now. <laughs> It's mesmerizing. I can't stop watching it. Ever heard of the 12 principles of animation, my friends? <laughs> We've got some ease in and ease out. We've got some follow through and overlap for show. We've got some weight. Oh, this is majestic. Absolutely magical. Okay, so this was my 45 minute challenge, but I feel like it does a disservice to this piece to not finish it off. So I'm going to go in, I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes finishing off the, the I'm just going to redo the canvas essentially, that's all I want to do. But this is, this is the official result of the challenge. I just want to make a few changes just so that it's a little more shareable. I want to make something that, that I can make an animated gif out of that you guys can share and enjoy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my heart is slowing down. That's good. That was intense. I've got, oh, I've got no words for how my heart is still sort of recovering from that. So let's say he used a bit of forest green. Let's give it some butt highlights. Let's go for the, for the nice phthalo blue. Grab our background. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Blur it slightly. Bring down the alpha just a little bit. Just so that our focus is where it needs to be. Oh. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> calm down, buddy. <laughs> He's twerking right on my camera section. I'll move him. I th I think we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the result of my 45 minute timed animation challenge. A huge thank you, of course, to the Twitch chat for making this possible. <laughs> I must say I am particularly proud of the frame by frame action on the butt. <laughs> In fact, let's uh, frame by frame. We have the butt being dragged upwards and then as we reach the apex, we have a slow squash and then a pull down and then we have a bounce into the butt hitting the ground again, which creates a lovely tushy jiggle. I I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. Make sure to like if you like this sort of content. And make sure to leave a comment with some ideas for some future animation challenges you'd like me to do. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, until next time, <laughs> I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.